Hello, I'm Mighty Slim, and in this video we're going to show you how to play the uh, guitar fills from Third Ray Romance that happened right before the choruses. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel below, Mr. Mighty Slim, and now let's get started here. All right, so the, uh, I guess we'll call them the pre-chorus chords are uh, C-sharp 7, F-sharp minor, and then D, right, and then the fills happen and then it goes A E back to A right but so the first time it happens it's uh so we have you don't look like my type but I guess you'll do no fills right no no fills no thrills all right and then the uh, second time around it's a uh, I'll even tell you that I love you if you want me to and the fill that happens goes like this. All right, so what is that? That's 10 on the B and the high E. Together, hammer to the 12 on the B. And then 10 on the high E. Keep in mind this comes in on B2, so one. And then I'm gonna go. Uh, so what is that? Is that 7 and 9 on the uh, D? Right? And 7 on the uh, G. 9 on the, on the D. And then 7, 9 hammer on. On the G. 7 on the, on the G again. So. Right? That lick right there, which is a 7 and 9 on the D. And then seven on the G. So. And then seven, nine, seven, hammer on, pull off on the D. So to uh, nine on the A, two sevens on the D and the G. Back to nine on the A. So we have one. That's your first fill. All right, then the solo happens, if I'm not mistaken. And then at the end of the next uh, chorus there, which I believe is, uh, uh, I never really done this kind of thing before. How about you? I believe that's the lyric. We have this fill that goes. Right, so that's the... Uh, 10 on the B and the high E. This comes in on beat one, by the way, as opposed to the other time, which there was a pause there. So 10 on the B and the high E. And then to 12 on the B. And then back to the double tens again. So, and then I'm gonna go. So that's seven and nine on the D. 797 seven on the G. Hammer on Paul, if I guess. And then uh, either a full 7 on the D or a ghost note. So, sometimes I like to play the ghost, so. A ghost note means you, you kind of fret the note, but don't put any pressure just to get a percussive sound out of it, so. And I'm going to go. So what is that? That's 7 and a 9 on the D. 7 on the G. And then 9, 7 on the D. Pull off. And then 9, 7 slide on the A. 5 on the A. 7 on the D. Slide. So. So let's do that whole thing there. We have. All right, 
and now your final fill, which I believe the uh, lyric is, uh, yes, I have, but only a time or two. We have... Uh, all right, so we open it the same way. Starts to sound off the same way as the, the previous one. We have... And then we have 7 to 9, hammer on to 7 on the... 7 9, hammer on on the D to 7 on the uh, G twice. And then 7 9, hammer on the G. 7 on the uh, G. And then... Ending it the same way that we did before. So we had 7 to 9 on the D, 7 on the G, 9, 7, pull off on the D, 9, 7 on the A, 5 on the A, so 9, 7 slide of course, 5 on the A, and then 7 on the low E with the slide. So we have And there it is. And there they are. I sincerely hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. Leave me a thumbs up and a comment that you did. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel below, Mr. Mighty Slim. And we'll see you all when the future gets here, Mighty Slim, over and out.